Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a very, very long time. I know I promised two times a week on my channel banner, but we all know that not everyone tells the truth. Today, we are in the Millennium Dot mod, and a whole lot of other mods, but I'm not going to go through the list. We will not be playing in, um... What? Oh, oh, they're quotes. Never mind. <laughs> um, we will not be playing on Iron Man, and since I am a big, fat loser, we will be playing very easy <laughs> with a buff to Germany. Let's have some fun. Got oh, did, did I get the buff? Did I get the buff? Oh, good. Very good, guys. We will not be playing on historical AI focuses either. Let's get this show on the road. All right, but before I start, I just want to say one thing. I'm actually... A helicopter lesbian. Haha, <laughs> April Fools. Although I think it's a little bit too late for that now. <laughs> but again, I'm sorry about being late on this uh, this video. Um, it was a bit of good spring break. I decided to take a little break for a while. Um, but don't worry, it'll be up with regular content. I still plan on having some. There's another ep. Okay, good. All right, just make sure this songs are disabled. Oh, hello. I guess we can accept some socialist influence in the country for some stability. Anyways, uh, there's going to be some more videos coming out. Um, there's going to be another Dutch East Indies is still going on. Uh, if you want to, the, the series has not been, of course, one of the more popular ones on the channel. Uh, if you want me to close it down, let me know in the comments. But there is another episode prepared for that one. But I figured I'd start on something new, something that everybody loves, and that's Germany. I've been thinking a lot, and I was like, you know, maybe people would enjoy it more if I didn't play backwater countries. No offense, Indonesians, your country is splendid now and one of the world's favorite beach retreat locations, but in 1936, Indonesia wasn't really at the forefront of politics, so I figured, let's play a nation that's actually important for once. So that leads us here, to this. Germany, Millennium Dawn. What a lovely idea. Oh. No, don't go there. Much appreciated. Did you say Suher? Suherd. <laughs> this is going to be one of my first times playing as a major. In my... Hmm. I think that we will go with German names. Oh, how pretty. I like how we have only the prettiest generals. We're gonna find a good general here. You. And for our paratroopers, oh, I forgot that I have modern generals on. So we have plenty, plenty, plenty. Do we have a commando and a city fighter, perhaps? Yes, we do. All right, you on that, and you, mountaineers, we'll just get a river and a, oh, where, where is that guy? There we go, right there, Eric Piffer. All right, and you, and you, oh no, oh no, what have I done? What have I done? You and you go under him, and you go under him. Okay, all right, and we're gonna grab a special forces commander. And we're gonna grab for you just the main overall army commander. Alrighty. <laughs> now the military is set up a bit. Let's go ahead and, since I like to flavorly name things, special forces oh dear group and main army group all right 
Oh, you guys are probably wondering what my plan is for this game today. Well, that is a secret. So sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be keeping that a secret from you guys for the time being. You're just going to have to find out what we're going to do on this campaign, aren't we? But trust me, it will be very interesting. Let's go ahead and get some bunches and bunches of research going. Let me look at these infantry brigades. Oh, what a nightmare. All right. Yes, we are going to have to work on this a lot. We have a motorized infantry division. Then we have our nice little people like that. And then our panzer brigades. Let's see, infantry division. Infantry brigade should be replaced with infantry divisions. Sorry, yes, but we're going to have to do this. I know this takes a quite a long time to do, but I find it highly important for us to get this done. And then we can go and delete this nasty template and get producing equipment for this template. Oh yes, we will need many more factories. The shady dealings of the conservative party magnates with large donors inside the Christian Democratic Union have made the headlines since 1997. Fiery showdown on the 18th of January 2000, former Chancellor Helmut Kohl, who ruled over Germany and represented in four terms, has been honorary chairman since he lost his fifth election bid. Now, due to personal involvement in the numerous political candidates for the corruptions, he is expected to resign even by his political protege and successor, Kohl's girl. His resignation will hurt. Resign. You should run again. <laughs> in a completely unprecedented events in Germany, the conservative veteran of the CDU party legend Helmut Kohl's returned to service fifth term as Chancellor of the Federal Republic. He's already been the longest sitting chancellor ever. Oh my goodness, Helmut Kohl! What are you doing with Germany here? Uh, I'm sure. It, I'm sure. I'm sure he won't do anything with Germany. Not at all. Egypt takes control of the Hundred Triangle. What is this? Oh, I can do that. Oh, what is this? How oh, interesting. Oh, there's enlightenment values. Legend of Public Broadcasting. It's an American news channel. Okay, alright. I'll take it. Oh. Operation Napoleon. Ooh. <laughs> Alrighty there. <laughs> uh, if you haven't figured out by now, I do have the additional decisions mod <laughs> on. Um. So we're seeking to dismantle Belgium <laughs> in Operation Napoleon. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I'm sure Gerhard Schroeder will not let that happen. Many events that we can do. Many events, many events, many events, many events. I'm sure we won't do any of these events. <laughs> no, that would be silly. Alright, build some more factories, how about it? Germany needs to industrialize if they're going to seize the future. I mean, be a helpful member of the... Oh. Life in prison indeed. <laughs> no commies will be with my uh, appreciation. What's the highest level air base? Franken, Oldenburg, Munichen. Wow. All right, we're going to send your paratrooper 
Is it in this square or is it in that square? Hmm, I guess we'll find out then. And just in case Austria wants to try and reverse Anschluss us, I did put a division on the Austrian border. Austria will not be allowed to reverse Anschluss Germany. I'm starting to get the feeling that it's in that, that province. Okay, we'll move you there. Could <laughs> someone say German militarism? Not on my watch. Oh, so many resources. Let's bump this up to five speed. And crash, probably. Oh, no. How lucky are we to not crash? I think they've updated this game quite a lot since I've last played. Let's let us combine the destroyers. What's this? Oh. More destroyers. I suppose I can... Is the German Navy really this small in real life? Just a bunch of destroyers. surprised at the small size of the German Navy. It's not a lot, and they're all very tiny. I'm happy to see that NATO is going strong. What is the good old, uh, oh, Brosnia offense, oh, oh, <laughs> oh dear, the spirit of revolution in the United States. <laughs> all right, <laughs> we'll see how that turns around. Russia goes to war with Chechnya, what a surprise. And let's get our industry back up, huh? Oh, what a surprise, Chechnya's already gone. Wonder how that happened. Oh, forget that Greenland exists. Question the Constitution. <laughs> Oh yes, that's my favorite thing to do, Bill Clinton. <laughs> my favorite thing to do. So America's going gonna go crazy. Um, what precisely does that mean for us, however? Being you know Germany and all, kind of technically the second most influential country in the free world, perhaps competing with Britain for that title. What is Britain doing? Is Britain going crazy as well? Okay, we don't know yet. Italy. Alright, we don't know about Italy either. I don't think we have any other focus trees that really matter all that much. Well, China, but... We're not sure what they're doing either. I'm sure nobody else will have some sort of crazy thing going, right? Of course not. How many casualties is this Ethiopian? Oh. Wow, they each have a lot of divisions, but they've never attacked each other, not even once. It's kind of dumb if you ask me, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I don't trust these dirty Austrians. They won't join our faction. The NATO, the NATO League. What should we do? Should we put in a political advisor? Social Democrats. How disgusting. Oops. What was that? My finger slipped. <laughs> Goodness. I hope I hope I hope we figure out what I clicked at some point. <laughs> I have no idea what I just clicked. Such a shame I can't go look and see what it was. Oh no, where is it? Let's see here. Iceland's doing nothing. United States is questioning the Constitution. How lovely. Oh, disgusting. 
It's really a competition. Oh wait, never mind. That's not the creepy guy. Oh. Everyone here is so strange. Oh. 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 Uh. <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm like General Grievous today, aren't I? No divisions in basic training. Well, this simply has to be fixed. Oh, what is outdated now? Oh, these little jeeps are outdated. What a surprise. We need better little jeeps. Alright, everything is researched up to our current date. Oh, oh not night vision. Gotta grab that night vision technology. I almost forgot it. Alright, grab that. And then that. And we'll be well on our way to having technology that is up and to date with the times. Oh, what is this? France endorses fraternité. <laughs> I almost forgot about you, France. Oh, so America's going slightly crazy. And... The U.S. is going slightly crazy. All right. Um, let's do some military reform in the meantime. So we've got two crazies in the world. Uh, Russia's a uh, default crazy, so they'll go crazy. I'm kind of worried here, just a little bit, about the future of uh, Europe and uh, European ideals, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how, what happens. Uh, is anybody here better than, better than a specialist, perhaps? Ooh, the World Exhibition, how exciting. Let's just get our tank company working, huh? Mm, yeah. Oh, and another factory. What should I put them on? That? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's get some oil from the only people that we can trust to be uh, not crazy, the Canadians. So predictable are the Canadians, but so nice at the same time. The Algiers Agreement. How lovely. Let's get some more Goodness, we're just flying through this research, aren't we? I'm sure it has nothing to do with the thing that I may or may not have activated beforehand. Germany, why are you going with mobile warfare? Mm, no reason. Did I just talk to myself? That's slightly worrying. What's this? Reform? I'll do it. <laughs> why not, huh? Why not? fund a nuclear program. Uh, hmm. I wonder who will be taking that decision. Uh, courage, enlightenment, values, secret agreements. What is the requirements for this? Not enough action in Belgium. That will be an interesting thing to see if we can get that to happen. Although I doubt it will happen. Because one of the requirements is for us to be fascist, and that's just that's just simply not not acceptable in the modern age. Hm. I can't believe someone would propose such an idea. Fascism in the modern age. Hm. That's just not very smart. Let's cut down on your production and add in some artillery production. How about it? <sighs> and we need mechanized, too. My goodness. Cut down on your production, then. Grab some mechanized. That totally doesn't look like World War II or anything. Ah, oh, and our best friends. Don't you just love trading with the Canadians? They give you the best deals. Alright, 
Let's see. What do we got here? Military reform just finished up. Good. We need to, uh... We need to fix the Bunswear at the earliest opportunity. Well, let's first do a little ideological focus. <laughs> Restoration society is, isn't that lovely? France is going all crazy on us. Security first! <laughs> Alright! Alright! I'm loving the way this world's going. Totally not dystopia at all. What do you do in USA? Oh, it seems you've seems you've taken Bernie Sanders' ideas to heart. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I'm sure this will. I'm sure it'll work out perfectly fine. Right. Right. <laughs> oh no. France. Come on, France. Don't do this. Why you gotta do this, France? Uh, why you gotta do this, France? Why you gotta go down the path of restoration societies? You're gonna, like, grab Mr. Napoleon, and then you're gonna, like, take over the world again, and it's not gonna be fun. Because Germany's not gonna let you take over the world. We refuse. There is one thing, however, that we have to do. And that is ensure that the conservatives win the next election. Uh, or the so Salahava. <laughs> the Salahamas. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm just feeling very, very Islamist today. You know, I'm feeling like Islamists just need to have a chance in German politics, you know? It's just. I feel like that's important, you know, to me. Is that the Islamists get their fair chance in German politics. It's just, it's just, it's only, it's only fair, you know? So what is it? Only, we're only about halfway through 2000, and we've already got France and the U.S. going crazy. Yeah, it's great. Just great. Oh, ban Antifa? Of course we'll ban Antifa. Aren't they a hate group? Goodness gracious, people. is so interesting. All these decisions we can take. All of these good decisions we can take. Hmm. All the good decisions. What's our diplomacy towards Palestine? Oh, yes, let's get that. We would never... <laughs> we must... I mean, hey, hey. We, we're not fascists, all right? <laughs> We have to support Israel on this. What's our diplomacy towards Taiwan? We're not a dirty commie. Of course I'm going to favor the ROC. Goodness gracious, people. Who do you think we are? It's all right, Israel. We got your back. Libertarianism. You go, Israel. Oh. Ten years of German unity. Really? Was it only ten years at that point? Wow. That's amazing. Oh! <laughs> Alright. Quick! Everyone who does the censoring of YouTube videos, look away. All right, I'm so happy that we can stand solidarily behind our Israeli Jewish friends, right? Of course. Now, what are we gonna do next? Uh, no, no, must, must resist, must resist. All right, must resist. Oh no. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Oh, that was a hard one. <laughs> it's like it was calling me. 
telling me to choose it. That was, that was something unlike I've ever experienced before. Let's research some nice missile cruisers here, huh? We don't want to get aircraft carriers. We've had bad experiences with uh, aircraft carriers in the past. So let's move on to our naval doctrine, huh? Since we don't really have a fleet, we have to do that, sadly. Um, but I want to get us some better fighters. I think that it's important for Germany to have some good fighters to um, uh, pursue the European policy of uh, the European Union. That's what I was... Uh, that's what I'm thinking, you know? I'm sure there's no far right on the rise, right? Right, guys? No, no far right. Isn't that right, Mr. Schroeder? No, there's definitely not a reaction to you uh, controlling German politics. Definitely not, especially not one on the right. Oh, I can't change those laws, I forgot. Oh, we're about to get some more factories, too. That'll be good. Ooh. He's joining the stock market. How about that, huh? How about that? Oh, goodness. George Bush! Welcome to the party, buddy! Oh, dear. Oh dear you, you're in power for one second and you're already weakening the Senate. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's silly, George. Let's get some better bombers, how about it? Hmm. And we're definitely not focusing on the army for anything like war or anything. We're just focusing on it to, you know, overcome the shortcomings of our, of our uh, military, right? Yeah. Isn't that right, Mr. Uh, Klaus Armstrong? Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. Oh dear. What, how, what, what interesting... Um, what, what interesting things is this? Why would we ever want to do this, huh? I think that this is absolutely hogwash. And that we should uh, not not go towards any of this foolish um, foolishness right here. What is this? Hmm. I think that we should definitely develop infrastructure and build develop factories. That's definitely a good idea. Um, and definitely, yeah, that's that's all we really need to be doing right now. Um, definitely, yeah, we we're doing good. Let's go ahead and research this new missile cruiser and we can start production. And if you have questions about why we're doing missile cruiser, just know that we're doing it for the purpose of um, a sending missiles of European unity to countries that don't exactly uh, align themselves with Europe. Right, Austria? Yeah, that's right. Sending missiles of unity. There's no more beautiful idea than that. Sadly, our Canadian... Oh, our Canadian friends can't help us out in this situation. We, I only trade with the best Canadians. <laughs> Canadians. I only trade with the best Canadians. Isn't that good? Trading with Canadia. Statues of... Oh, goodness. I think we definitely need to... Ban fascism because fascism is a bad ideology. All right, let's just work on the army a little bit more. I mean, work on European unity. Silly me, I'm always misspeaking. Place that with mechanized, perhaps. Add light mechanized there. Um, yeah, that looks good to me. Let's tone it down here, huh? And add some more. Factories on um, mechanized production, huh? Yeah, I figured we might need some some more mechanized production, you know? We might want to import some American artillery, huh? Or do some military exercise. Nah, we don't need that, never mind. Let's 
pretty good. What's our war support at? 12%? Alright, alright, alright. I think that we should definitely be seeking some French friendship. Because France needs some friends right now. They're going through a rough time. Uh, yeah, definitely. What are you doing, Britain? Britain first? Good for you. I just love it when when people decide that they don't want to be part of my European Union anymore. You know? It's completely fine. I don't mind it at all. I think the people have the right to decide whatever they want, and I'm totally not going to make you my first target. I mean, my first friend. Oh, dear. That's, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very good. At all. How's my friends doing down here, huh? Yeah, oh. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'll just come back when you're, um, when you're awake. Or more alive, I guess. Strategic destruction? <laughs> why, why would we need to prepare a strategic destruction doctrine? If we're peaceful, right? Uh oh. How did I know that China was going to not be peaceful? Is it because nobody's being. Oh, what? What? Uh, what? Oh, uh, oh, okay. So apparently Sudan has um, cooed itself into its original government. Why I don't understand. Oh, because they were probably libertarian. And then they, oh, oh, okay, that's it's okay. So is everybody like going libertarian? Oh, I forgot Switzerland had a focus tree. And of course, they're not going to seek EU membership because nobody likes me. <laughs> nobody likes me and my wonderful EU because no one understands that the goal for peace, oh my goodness, that was a voice crack. <clears throat> that the goal for peace should be through European unity. No one understands that nowadays, do they? It's just so irritating. So irritating. <sighs> Very disappointing. I might have to move some troops on your border because of that decision. I cannot have neo-Nazis. Oh, what's this? Oh. Tony Blair. You sly scoundrel. Meanwhile, Switzerland is going to have a, is getting a nice little uh, number of a German troops on their border, huh? Yeah, that's right. You get a nice little bunch of German troops on your border. And we're going to fix the Bundeswehr. For, not for, of course, warmongering reasons, but for peace and greater national cooperation. Isn't that right? Mr. Uh, what's your name? Manfred, yeah. You just want us to be fixed so we can bring peace to the world. Not war, or pain, or suffering. How many convoys we have? I think we have plenty of convoys now. Let's get to work on production of our new missile cruiser, huh? Yeah, that, that'd be a good idea. We'll put about three missile cruisers in there, probably. Uh, where are we going to get some chromium from? Is our, our good Canadian friends, do they have chromium? Oh. No, they don't, so we're just going to have to trade with the Finns. Disappointing, I know, but we're just going to have to trade with them. And we're just going to have to trade a little bit more oil with Canada in order to get these missile cruisers on the, on the, on the lines and uh, starting to be produced. Do they have graphics for boats? Oh, they do. That's very nice, actually. I appreciate that very much. We have modern looking boats. And Belgium has modern looking soldiers with the German or French, is that French? Yeah. And the European flag on them. That's, they have a German flag here, a French flag here, and a European flag here. How odd. And then the French have just French flags. And then we Germans have German flags. And of course the Austrians have the European Union flag, even though they're not even in our union. Makes no sense whatsoever, but I'll accept it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, 
I'll accept that, you know? If, if you just want to pretend like you're part of the EU, then that's okay. That's okay. You're allowed to do that. Poland. Oh my gosh. Poland, didn't we just come out of the Cold War? What is your problem? Oh my goodness. Poland, we just got out of this whole Cold War deal. And now you're already back. <laughs> you're already back into the communism. I thought you guys... Uh, oh my goodness. Typical Poland. Not being able to keep up their mind, huh? Oh my goodness. Oh. Isn't this just lovely, huh? Oh, isn't all this lovely? We got a bunch of commies. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yes, build more schools. I think that's a lovely idea. We need to build more schools. Some education reform. And I'm sure the Social Democrats will be really happy. Uh, whatever these guys are, Dritter Wegg. I don't even know what that is. It sounds like a like a type of food. That's probably what it is. It's probably all it is. It's just a food type. Let's see. Oh, and we're going to need more rubber, aren't we? Sadly, we are not going to trade with Canada for our rubber. But where else are we going to trade with? Well, how about Thailand? I hear they throw in uh, uh, added bonuses for their people that trade with them. Let's go ahead and decrease this by two. Add one to this one and add one to that one. We've got to reassess our production priorities and getting the Germans off on their feet. Lost life. Yes, we need to help out our East German friends. Modern detection devices. How interesting. Hmm. Oh, we work on these decoding algorithms. Oh, is it already midway through 2001? Isn't this just wonderful? Let's save this as... Um, perfect name for it. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it right there. We've got about a year and a half through this campaign. We've got a bright new future for Germany with uh, Schroeder, but it looks like uh, good old Helmut Kohl will be coming back next year for another term. And whatever these Dritter Wegg people are, we'll just have to, we'll just have to, <laughs> we'll have to deal with them at a later time, huh? Um, yeah, I think everything's looking pretty good. We're gonna obviously emphasize freedom, right? Yeah. And now that the army has been fixed, we have uh, the ability to perhaps remove uh, the Polish commie pieces of trash. Um, I mean, beautiful European citizens. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll see everyone in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you want me to continue the Dutch East Indies series. I have an episode already recorded, so I'm going to publish that one. But let me know if you want it to continue after that. And I'll just see based on the response to this video. Thank you, everybody. I want you to have, uh, <clears throat> my goodness, my voice, a wonderful week. And I hope you had a wonderful spring break. I will see everyone in the next episode. Goodbye.